to the Home Care Breakthrough Solutions Revenue Accelerator Program. Hey everyone, it's Greg Maz at Home Care Breakthrough Solutions and welcome to another episode of the Revenue Accelerator Program. So today we're gonna to talk about a little bit high level stuff and we're gonna to try to break it down into chunk size, digestible uh, information to help you guys. And what I'm talking about is today we're gonna to talk a little bit about the psychology of marketing really the psychology of sales and marketing. So when you are on, on the phone with the client, if you're doing any type of video ads, there's three key things that you wanna understand. There's three key things that will help you be able to impact and influence someone to make a decision that's in their best interest. So the first thing is to come from their view, come from their perspective. So what do I mean by that? When you are coming from their view, you need to get inside of their mind, right? You need to get inside of their mind in terms of what is it that they need? What, what's prompted them to make the call or if it's a referral source, what prompts them, what motivates them to want to refer business to a home care agency? And when you can get inside of the mind of their needs, their wants, their desires, right? Or with an intake call, what are they feeling inside? Are they stuck? Are they feeling guilty? They don't have enough time to take care of all their responsibilities and mom or dad. So when you start to come from their perspective, that's what they mean by, or that's what I mean by getting inside of their mind, okay? Because when you, let's backtrack for a second. People are gonna do business with those they know, like, and trust. And oftentimes, when someone's speaking to you, right? The best example, and I'm not the best person to give examples of a spouse, but let's just say hypothetically, your spouse is talking to you and they're trying to communicate a message. When you acknowledge what they say and you repeat back to them, they feel loved, right? They feel more connected. When you don't, there's a tendency for them to sometimes feel upset or disconnected. Same thing happens in any type of engagement or relationship. So if you understand what they're going through, uh, a little bit of empathy inside of them and inside of what they might be thinking, then you are then able to connect and gently influence them, all right? Number two, when you are speaking with a prospective client, when you are speaking with um, someone who's called in or when you're doing any type of video ad for marketing, it's really important that you watch your language. What do I mean by that? I don't mean <laughs> not to curse. I mean, watch the words that you say, right? What, what happens is, is you're in an industry for a long period of time and through the years you start to accumulate lingo. For example, CNA. Well, most of your clients don't know what a CNA is yet. They don't know that it's a certified nursing assistant. Like CNA, what's that? Or HHA. So you have to be careful in your conversation. You have to be in your communication. You know, one of my mentors taught me, like, taught me, it's like, watch the techno babble, right? Watch what you're saying. Make sure that you're not saying words or terms that they don't understand because what happens is, is that when people don't understand, they're less likely to buy. They're less likely to take action. They're less likely to be motivated to take action. A perfect example of this without getting like really deep into this whole political debate, regardless of your affiliation, the reality is, is that one of the reasons why Donald Trump won is he did a very, very, very good job. And maybe it's just because that's his, that's how he speaks normally, but he did a very, very good job at speaking at in layman's terms. A, a lot of the other uh, people that were running, because they're so smart, because they're so um, intelligent, they speak at this really, really high level. And if you want, one of the things they teach you in marketing is if you want to be effective in marketing, you want to speak from the third grade level. So if you can speak from a third grade level, people are more able to understand and connect. When you start saying high level terms or techno babble or industry related terms that people aren't going to understand, it just creates more disconnection. So the third thing is really to understand and know that they're, know their motives. Okay, what do I mean by motive? So at the core, as human beings, we're driven by certain things. And I'm gonna share something that may not be true for 100% of the people. However, when you understand this, 
and can help you in your sales and marketing efforts. So women, generally speaking, are motivated by love. Women are generally speaking are motivated by love. So when you understand that and you, someone calls in about their mom or their dad, you can speak to that. You can speak from that place. Uh, on the other end of the, it's not even the other end of the spectrum, but men, generally speaking, are motivated more by freedom. Freedom to be, freedom to spend their time, freedom to create. Those are generally speaking, not all, but generally speaking, men's motives. When you understand these three elements, coming from their view, watching your language, and understanding or knowing their motives, and you're able to communicate from that space, you're much, much more likely to be able to impact and influence people to make decisions that are in their best interest. Get these th three things right when it comes to understanding the psychology of sales and marketing. You're gonna be way, way, way ahead of the competition. So I hope this helped you. Um, if this is content that you find interesting or intriguing at all, comment below, um, share the post and like it. So this way I know, hey, you know, this is good stuff and, and you want me to do more stuff like this. So anyway, thank you guys for being here. I hope that we can help you guys achieve your next home care revenue breakthrough and we'll see you on our next show. Bye-bye.